<laughs> Hi, I'm Logan McGillivray. I'm 13 years old, and I am um, the head of uh, Listen to the Children. And I've sent two containers to Sierra Leone. I've made a documentary, and I'm building a children's multipurpose center there. Excellent. Now, how did you first start with the uh, with your business? Um, about three years ago, Dr. Thomas and Mary Ture, who are with an organization called CD Peace Center for Development and Base. Uh, Peace Education, which is based in Sierra Leone, came to my house and I started showing pictures of children which were my age working in fields and not attending schools and for the ones that were fortunate enough to attend schools, some were underneath trees, most had no desks to learn to write, they would take a stick and write in the dirt. So uh, these pictures just took me by surprise and I just wanted to help them. So what does Listen to the Children actually do? Um, well, listen to the children. Um, what we try to do is um, help the education in um, where we work out of the northern part of Sierra Leone, be uh, especially for the children, because the children are going to be the future of Sierra Leone, and they're going to be the ones who are running it uh, soon. So, um, and they don't get a lot of education, and a lot don't have the chance to go to school. So uh, we're trying to help with the education in Sierra Leone, and also we're trying to bring recreation to Sierra Leone. Because if kids are playing basketball or soccer, then they're not doing anything bad. What were some of the startup costs that you had to deal with to send, send over those containers? And how did you do that? Well, for the first container I sent, which was, uh, I think, the most important because it got me started, it was $9,000 to send it. And uh, I also had to fill it up with uh, supplies, too. So what I did was I contacted a whole bunch of businesses. You know, I sent so many emails out and I went guest spoke to schools and I made a documentary while I was sending the container and I would show this documentary and I ended up getting schools ended up doing things like ball runs, pencil drives, and maybe knapsack drives. And in the end I was able to fill up the container with all these supplies and uh, businesses and individuals came forward and donated uh, money. You know there's many fundraising companies and um, humanitarian companies what are some of the unique selling points of Listen to the Children? Well, I think because we work out of Sierra Leone, I think one of our most unique selling points was Sierra Leone is one of the poorest countries in the world, but it's receiving the least amount of help. So when we went to businesses and such, they heard this kid talking about this country, which really wasn't talked about a lot. And they thought, well, maybe we can help this country because... It's true, they're one of the poorest countries in the world. They do not receive a lot of help. So I think that caught a lot of people by surprise because they don't hear about Sierra Leone a lot. And what, what kind of advertising? How do you keep the buzz going for your company? Um, well, I've made a documentary, um, like I mentioned, and I still go guest speak at, at schools. And sometimes radios and such like to interview me, so then that gets me um, a lot of people to hear about it. And my video, which I made, has been shown in five continents across the world. Uh, so it, that's a, it keeps a lot of us going, is that uh, documentary. Now, everyone wants to improve their business. And um, what do you think you need to do to sort of go to the next level? Well, I think the most important thing to do is just raise the awareness of Sierra Leone. Because I, I've mentioned this many times, but it's one of the poorest countries in the world. And it's just really not receiving a lot of help. Um, I'm just about to finish a children's multi-purpose center in Sierra Leone and I think after that just the main thing is is because uh, is to raise the awareness because people in Canada really love to help others and I think if they were just aware of Sierra Leone they would really want to help it. Great and what kind of things are you doing online? I know you mentioned emailing but do you have anything online that people uh, can go and see? I have a website which is www.listentothechildren Dot net and on it there's a whole bunch of information, um, some things about me, some of the things that I listen to the children is doing at the moment, some of the uh, la yeah, like the latest buzz and such. Um, so I think you should really check it out. Great, great. Thanks a lot, Logan. No problem. Thank and you. what message do you have to other future kidpreneurs <laughs> that uh, you know want to do something similar to you? Well, I would just like to say that if you have anything to do. You just start it and people will come forward and help you.
because what I uh, when I what I did I sent the container when I was ten years old, and it wasn't just me sending that. It was people that wanted to help. So if you have anything to do, people will come forward and help you, and it'll make your task a lot easier. Thanks, Logan. No problem.